Assassin's Creed has been a runaway hit since it began 16 years ago. Fans have been asking for one thing from the franchise and Ubisoft is ready to deliver a brutal, bloody and stealthy look into feudal Japan. This is Assassin's Creed, codename Red. This is Cold Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about Assassin's Creed Red in feudal Japan. If you end up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content. And let's talk about what will probably be my next favorite Assassin's Creed game. Assassin's Creed has been an annualized mega hit for almost two decades and over the years. The franchise has taken us all over the globe, adding a little each game to try and keep the game fresh. Fans have been asking for feudal Japan, but Ubisoft has been reluctant to take on the era because Assassin's Creed is unique covering timelines in the Middle East, Europe, and all over the world. Now, leaks from insiders and early previews have painted a clearer picture of what we can expect from Assassin's Creed Red. The game takes place in around the 1600s controlled by the Shoguns a military force. The Emperor technically controls the country in Japan, but in reality, the Shogun have more political power. This shift of power sets the perfect stage for the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood to step in and make political and power moves alongside or even against the Shogun. You will play as one of two characters, one a samurai and the other a shinobi. The samurai is a female character with dual swords and named Naomi, native to Japan raised under the political struggle for the Blade of Azu. The other is a shinobi, a covert agent mercenary, the classic ninja character that is an African refugee that was trained by the Assassin's Brotherhood and made his way into Japan. Reportedly, we would be splitting time in half or 60-40% between the two characters, further cementing the idea that both characters are playable during the campaign but if not, replaying the game as one character could make for an interesting replayability. But it sounds like we will switch between the Shinobi and the Samurai for certain missions and story timelines. Feudal Japan was a brutal and bloody violent time in a 500 year long political struggle dominated by land and power being exchanged for military service to grow the Emperor's army. The Azuchi Momoyama period of feudal Japan, a time when the Emperor was responsible for unifying all provinces in Japan under the control of the central government. It was a time of flamboyance and luxury, perfect for the Assassin's Creed series. During this time, the building of many substantial large castles and mansions replaced the traditional temple architecture. This is perfect for the playground of traversal, striking landscapes, and combat or stealth locations to take your own creative approach to dispatching enemy shoguns or getting within assassin distance of prominent corrupt leaders. Let's talk about the combat and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Red. This was described to Insider Gaming as being somewhat similar to Valhalla but featuring a lot more gore, including blood and decapitations. Stealth also plays a major role in Assassin's Creed Red, somewhat akin to Splinter Cell. The player can extinguish torches, hide in tall grass and bushes, and even go prone for the first time in Assassin's Creed. This game will also feature mythological Japanese yokai like ghosts, demons, and shapeshifters as boss encounters, which made Origins and Odyssey more imaginative, lending to the lore of the culture in the game. The footage provided to Insider Gaming under the condition that it does not go public also showed a major evolution of the Valhalla-like settlement feature. In Assassin's Creed Red, players will be able to build their settlement in a big way named the Hideout. The Hideout is where the player will be able to build at their own will the likes of an armory, dojo, altar, and more. And these buildings can be customizable too, from being able to pick the building location and being able to choose your roof design, interior layout, and places to display the likes of your weapons and armor to decorate instead of selling off these items you're not using. Combat will likely be more like Assassin's Creed Origin and Odyssey, with more organic combat, moving away from Assassin's Creed Mirage's parry and counter limited combat. 
Assassin's Creed Red will hone in on stealth gameplay that is true to a ninja and samurai while still encouraging the open world map exploration and RPG game mechanics of the newer titles. Weapons to expect to wield in Assassin's Creed Red should be Shuriken throwing stars, katanas, daggers, blow darts, throwing knives, climbing claws, and small bombs. Climbing Claws would be an interesting addition to Assassin's Creed Red, which would allow your player character to climb more precarious or more difficult areas or climb buildings with faster speed. Ninjas were known to use Tiger Claws on the palm of their hands to make their way up difficult walls and to get into enemy encounters. Ubisoft Quebec is the studio behind Assassin's Creed Red. They were the ones that created Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and Jonathan Dumont will be returning as the creative director, a role he filled for both AC Odyssey and Immortals Phoenix Rising. This is good news for fans of both of those games. The Animus is making a return, although probably minimized as it has been in the recent Assassin's Creed games, so expect some modern day takes and hopefully there'll be some retracing steps of ancient Japanese sites in modern times, like we saw in Assassin's Creed 2. The Assassin's Creed games are probably some of the most visually impressive titles, full of intricate details, historic representation, and a vast landscape packed with living crowds and architecture. The games engine has evolved and updated over time, and to start, the Assassin's Creed franchise as a whole isn't moving into a new engine, but it will be using a substantial evolution of the Anvil engine pipeline. Sources explain that the Anvil pipeline allows of the various Assassin's Creed studios, which there are many that create all of the games each year, to work from one unified branch rather than having different versions to work on. This means that moving forward, Assassin's Creed will benefit visually from the lines of ray traced global illumination and virtual geometry. The move to the Anvil pipeline has meant that the teams have to completely overhaul everything in the series, including animations which are updated, its parkour system, which is fantastic, which will see an improvement, and for the first time, dynamic weather in Assassin's Creed Red. Ubisoft Quebec is set to announce Assassin's Creed Red in May of 2024 and set for a release around November of this year. For fans of the new generation open world RPGs of Assassin's Creed like Odyssey, Origins, or even Valhalla, this iteration in Japan could be one of the most memorable and maybe a new favorite in the entire franchise. This is Cole Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video. There's always been a few of those Assassin's Creed games that get announced or they're shown. I'm like, mm, nah, nah, I'm not. I've done enough Assassin's Creed. And then they pull me back in and Black Flag was one of them. It was one of those games where I was like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. And then once I saw the gameplay, yes, uh, day one, that's where I was. One of my favorite games from Assassin's Creed. And then Odyssey and Origins. I was like, what is this? We, we used to call it Assassin's Creed Aladdin. But yeah, I mean, those games are fantastic. I know there are fans that don't really like that new version of Assassin's Creed, but Valhalla I really liked for a while. But man, that one really just kind of uh, wasted your time after a while. But still, really great games. And I think that Assassin's Creed Red is going to be one of our new favorites. I can't wait to get hands-on playing that. I hope we see it soon. If you ended up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new weekly content. If you want to further support the work we're doing here at the Cold Eastwood channel, you can do that by hitting the join button below and there you'll get early access to videos, monthly merch giveaways, and you can also check out the Patreon. Either of those will get you that early access and enter you into those monthly giveaways. Also, we have the XNC podcast, which runs every Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll talk about this and the leaks and the news. And we'll break it all down. That's a great show. Thanks for checking that out. But let me know in the comments what you think of Assassin's Creed Red. And I got to hear which one out of all 15, 37, I don't know how many there are, which Assassin's Creed game is your favorite. Let me know in the comments. And while you're there, be nice.